What's up y'all, it's your girl Reese. Welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We do all things fashion, jewelry, and beauty here. It's been a long time since I've done long form, so welcome back. I have done a bit of shopping for my favorite season, fall, fall, not fall, winter, but there's a little bit of winter mixed up in here. Uh, and I thought I would do a little bit of a haul for you guys to just show you what I've been adding to my closet. So let's hop right in. Starting with some, we're, we're starting strong, some heavy hitters. First up on my list is something I really wanted to debut this fall, but I didn't end up doing it because I haven't put together the whole fit yet. But look at this, please, please, please take this in. This is a beautiful crop knit from Hanifa. This is a black owned brand and a complete slick. First of all, the material is super heavy. Like it's a really, really good sweater material. Second of all, the color, the color is absolutely insane. I saw this and I was like, add to cart immediately. I, like I said, I really wanted to debut this, this fall, but I haven't put together the perfect outfit for it yet, but it's just so freaking good. Next up is this skirt that I actually think would go amazing with a Hanifa crop sweater because of the blue that runs through it. This is by Awake Mode. I actually tried this on in the summertime when I was in New York with one of my girlfriends, she's a stylist, and we styled it for like rooftop vibes. So like with a, just a tank, a white tank and some heels, but I think it's a great like early fall piece. Actually, you know what, fall period, because you can wear boots with it. Just wait till this hits the feed, till I can go outside wearing this. Yeah and then a brown shoe, and I had the perfect shoe in mind. It's just, it's gonna come to my wardrobe when it's time. Next up is another crop sweater. <laughs> you think I have a type, I like a crop, period. Uh, this is by Diagonal. I actually have this in the beige color I got, I think last year, and I loved it so much. It's so unique, it has this little neck strap situation. And so I got it again in brown. This is actually from W Concept, and they are having their Black Friday sale, so you guys can shop anything W Concept with an additional discount. I'll put the code on the screen and in the description box. Happy Black Friday shopping, y'all. Next up, I have this beautiful midi skirt, which is just perfect for work, I think. It has pockets. We love a piece with pockets. You know, a dress and a skirt that has pockets is an automatic one. This is also a W concept. I love the buttons in the middle. I just think it's very classic look. And then you can like wear it in the daytime and then at nighttime, you know, if you're going for dinner or something, you might want to let a couple of these buttons go to show a little skin. See, I told you there's a lot of midis and browns. So this is a skirt by Vince. Again, I think this will be amazing as a workwear piece for just, you know, like throw on a sweater on top of this. It's gonna be so good. It has, I love the double layers. So the under layer is this, I don't know if it's silk, but it's like either satin or silk ruched skirt and on top it has the more smooth layer and then when you walk you just get a little bit of a movement in the piece it's just stunning all right next up is this amazing little mini dress i'm obsessed this is by banana republic this actually comes in three different colors the black the white and the blue and i do have it in blue as well i bought the blue in like the summertime and i wore it early like in september for work and it was so good but the blue is that like royal blue color and very it's not as easy to wear multiple ways so i bought the white one on sale so good and i was just like you can style this a million ways i went outside recently and styled it with like this with a sweater vest it was just the cutest situation ever i love it the balloon sleeves are really fun so it just takes a very traditional button up dress style it makes it just a touch more fun okay fall <laughs> season I'm, I'm wearing something really similar to it but in the fall i don't know why i gravitate towards like patterned turtlenecks so much i love them long sleeved turtlenecks i just i think they're so good i think this is a way for me to inject with a little bit more fun into my fall winter wardrobe because i feel like i very much gravitate towards trousers I'm wearing jeans or like black pants and then I want to change my life a little bit and like add a little bit of fun and my way of doing that is doing, is like getting a long sleeve turtleneck this one's not a turtleneck but a long sleeve with a pattern to kind of make for like abstract fun like what I'm wearing right now just jeans this would actually look super cute with this too 
Okay, what is a fall haul without a knit? How friggin' cute is this? I mean, come on. This is just your, you know, very typical fall winter knit and just the statement piece. You know, this, this plus jeans, this plus a pair of shorts and some sheer tights and boots. Absolutely. And I love it. It just is giving cozy holiday. Ugh, I love it so much. Let's see if I can keep this clean. This is by a brand called Venue Mint. All right, next up, y'all. Yeah. This is a stunning full leather mini skirt that I thrifted for a hundred dollars. Isn't this insane? And in brown, I haven't worn it outside yet because I haven't figured out how I want to style it. I think I want to style it with a cool blue top. And I actually just got this one from W Concept, which very well might be the move. Like I'm thinking of me of good luck, but I haven't tried it yet. But this is just absolutely insane. Insane, you guys. Next up is another skirt I thrifted. This is also a leather skirt. This one is a little bit tougher. And this one is, it needs a little TLC. This I got thrifting as well. And this one I got for like $30, 30 to 50. I can't remember exactly, but it was so cheap. It is a stunning like midi style skirt. And then I've worn this outside already with this slit open. It's also, like I said, missing just one button. No, two buttons. So eventually I'm gonna get the whole thing replaced, but it, it worked for what it was. Up next, though I pulled it out earlier, is a button up blue shirt. Now, I love a like cool button up shirt. If you guys are OG here, you know I hate a plain button up shirt. This is cool. There's a cool factor to it. You can wear it regular, buttoned all the way down. Or there's a side button right here where you can button the front to the side and make it kind of like a uh, wrap style top. So it gives it's giving two for one okay and we love we love that okay we're moving on to my favorites coats and jackets now you guys know i have a ton of coats and jackets so i'm kind of trying to fill in the gaps now with things i absolutely need so i was definitely looking for shorter puffers i do have like my big long puffer for the colder months and i was looking for something shorter so i can wear a little more casual before it gets too crazy cold we found those this beautiful little puffy is by rest and recreation it's very warm what i do love about it is it has these the little ties to the side here so you can bring it in there you go so you can have it go like straight out or you can pull in the drawstrings that was what i was looking for the drawstrings and then you can have it kind of closed up at the bottom so there's no wind getting in there but this is super cute pockets very warm just like casual i wear i've worn it a lot already with like sweatpants and leaving the house to do errands i love it next up is this more i think this is faux shirling yes the faux shirling jacket it's just so cute now the thing about my coats and jacket wardrobe is i'm very heavy in the coats like longer coats i don't have a lot for jackets so i'm trying to make it a point to pick up a few more of those and see just to fill out my wardrobe you know a woman with options this is a little bit more dressy than a puffer but a cute fall look i love it so much and it's very soft and very warm Ugh, obsessed since I did get the darker black colored puffer, I also found this baby right here. It is a reversible puffer actually, and not as puffy. Now that one was very much giving marshmallow. This one is a little bit more chill. I love it. Look at how cute. So on the outside, it has that more like soft fabric style. And on the inside, it's a little bit more of that like windbreaker material, but I just think this is very bougie. I imagine the girlies going out running errands, like the ones who wear the all white suits in the winter, like track suits in the winter, with their cute little Ugg slippers, and then they throw this on. Yeah, you know those girls. You know those girls with their cute little like light colored working bag. It's not me. <laughs> 
It's simply not me, but this is so cute. This also has like the drawstring and I pulled it in so you guys know I already wore this outside. I like it. I actually haven't done the reversible bit to it yet, so let's do that together. Okay. This is more this gives it more of a bomber look. Now, I like it. I like this a lot. How adorable. Okay, yeah, you know what? This might be I can't say that. There's a lot of favorites of the bunch. But I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. Yes, yeah, slay. Okay, up next. I did three short jackets. I said I needed jackets, but of course I had to pull out a coat. I mean, it's me after all. So this beautiful, like, it's kind of like salt and pepper. A little bit, and then it, it's supposed to go in at the waist a little. Okay, it's, it is giving a little bit of snatch release. Just a touch of like the hourglass. So this bag right here is a cutie I picked up for work because I have a lot of dark bags for work. And like I said, I'm trying to change my life and do a little bit more light colors or colors period in my winter wardrobe. So I didn't have much for a light bag for work. So this beautiful bag here is a vegan leather bag. This is what it looks like on the inside and it has a cute front buckle. What I do enjoy about it is it's extremely light. Just toss it over the shoulder. You guys know I do work wear a lot. And it'll fit so much. Like it'll fit my full notebook, my wallet without taking out the card holder. I like it. I got this pair of shoes in. This is very much a work vibe. This was gifted to me from Brown Shoes. And I'm very excited about them because you guys know I'm a big shoe girl and uh, it's very easy to ruin your shoes in the fall winter months here, especially the winter months, but fall has been pretty rainy too. So I have a pair of weatherproof riding boots in black that I wear to death for work because I'm outside, I'm in the salt, and I just don't want to ruin my really, really good boots and shoes, period. And so these ones are like a weatherproof and a waterproof boot with a slight heel. So it's, you know, my, my other boot is flat, but this one is in the brown color. And I think I'll just get a lot of wear out of this when it comes to like the snowy months and wanting to wear like a fit. Like if I want to wear a dress or something, I could throw this on, still be cute. This I didn't really buy for fall. I bought this for probably spring, summer when wedding season and like skirts and dresses come out again. These mock and mock bow shoes are absolutely insane. They're slingbacks. You guys, I don't know if you can see there, but the detailing with the crystals inside the bow, absolutely insane. I am obsessed, so obsessed. They come in multiple colors. I just don't have a lot of beige color shoes, so I was like, let me add another. I'm trying to fill in the pieces of my wardrobe right now, and I just, like, come on. This is like the wedding shoe of the year. Okay, called it and me as a wedding guest. I love it. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite addition to my wardrobe was, and I will see you guys in the next video.